So first of all, um, could you just tell me a little bit about yourself, your interests, what it is you're studying at uni and just how life is going at the moment in general? Okay, um, my name is Chidima Nkechinyere Amanze. I am from Nigeria, Eastern Nigeria, so I'm Igbo. Um, what do I like? My interests. I love having a good time. I love music. I love dancing. I love creating content, you know, um, making videos, sharing my story. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I love food. I'm a foodie, so <laughs> I love to cook and eat too. And I'm currently enrolled at the University of Derby for a master's program in civil engineering and construction management. So yes, um, I think the major challenge for me so far is the weather. This is something I'm not used to. <laughs> exactly. I come from like a very warm country, continent, and this cold is something I've had to battle with. But then again, um, I've met a lot of nice people. I think I talked about it in one of my blogs. Um, people that are just so helpful and willing to like help you out and just make you feel comfortable. So I'm grateful for that also here in my accommodation, my flatmates, everyone just, you know, understands and respects their space. And it's, it's honestly, I'm having, I'm having a beautiful experience so far and I'm grateful to be here. Great to hear. Um, I noticed on your channel, your vlogging goes back quite a bit further than obviously when you arrived in Derby. Uh, so when mm -hmm. was it that you decided to start vlogging and, and why did you make that decision? Um, it was 2018, it was 2018, my sister's wedding. So I hadn't started vlogging then. I just, you know, it was her wedding and a lot of family. I have a lot of family in the US, in the UK, in Canada, and some of them couldn't make it for the wedding. So I was just like, okay, I was going to take videos, send to everybody and just keep everybody. Even if I could go live, I would have, but I was part of the train, so I couldn't go live. I rather just recorded, filmed and all that stuff. And I sent it to everyone. And then I shared it on my platforms. And everyone was like, oh, wow, you were able to, you know, um, get everything together. You should start a YouTube channel. My roommate back in school was already telling me, like breathing down my neck, telling me that you're good with the camera. You're good with creating content, do this. And I was just like, no, I wasn't ready because that was my final year in university. So I was like, nah, maybe after I'm done. So I think after I was done and I submitted my project and uh, two weeks to graduation in 2019, yes, that was when I was like, okay, let me film my first intro video. I'm like, but it was crazy. I had a lot of setbacks that day. My phone was having issues. The lighting was having issues. A lot of things that would have, you know, stopped me from filming that video. But I was just like, I have come too far to quit. So, yeah. Independently, you know, the filming, the editing, is that all your own completely? Yes. Your own <laughs> yes, it's so challenging, you know, filming. Editing is the major work putting because, for example, you can have like, if it's a vlog, vlogs are usually a lot of clips so I have a particular vlog that was about 200 and something clips now putting those clips together that is a lot of work and making it seamless with the soundtrack and you know with YouTube there's a lot of copyright issues and claims so you have to be you know careful with your soundtrack and yeah it's it's all me one man army <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's going well. We thank God. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really great what you're doing at the moment, capturing Derby, kind of, you know, your journey just as you go along. I think that's yeah. going to be really great for people to see who are going to be in your shoes eventually or are currently in your shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. And one of the things I wondered was like, what was your first impressions of Derby when you first came here? My first impression, um, definitely the people. It was definitely the people. Um, and it was the lady I met on the, well, I didn't meet her on the train, but I met her when I came down from the train and she offered to help. She saw me struggling and she was like, oh, hi, do you need help? You have a lot of luggage. And I was like, yes, please. And she took the other of my luggage and went with me and I asked her if she knew where the um, bus stop or the car park or something was. I was trying to get a taxi to the hotel where I was staying at at that time. And so she took me there, not knowing that this lady, her husband was really at the car park waiting for her. She actually showed me where I was to get a taxi and everything. And I remember asking her if she wasn't going to get a taxi and she was like, oh, her, her husband was really there waiting for her. And I was like, 
you didn't have to do that for me. You don't know me from anywhere. And so it was just the people for me. And also another person I met at the bank who was just willing to help me out. She actually left her position at the bank and went to another bank to help me, you know, process my application there. It, it honestly really touched my heart. And I was just like, wow. Also the city is very beautiful. And I think everything is just really accessible here. You get into a bus or you walk, anything you want to do. I'm still yet to explore because right now it's just been school back and forth, back and forth. But we have a break at the end of this week. So I'm looking forward to, you know, exploring during the break and all of that. But I would say it was the people, um, lots of nice people. And also it's a beautiful city. Honestly, it's a beautiful city. You did your undergraduate in Ghana, is that right? Yes, I did. Um, so it, it might be too early to completely make that uh, comparison just yet, but I wondered at what ways is student life in Derby and in Ghana similar and different? I think with the accommodation, you know, just living with a bunch of people. And I think with um, uni, we were all just Nigerians in my accommodation it was just some of them that were like, okay, from Cameroon, from um, Uganda and all of that. But here, I'm the only Nigerian in my apartment. We have a German, we have a British, and then we have two Chinese. So just seeing all those cultures and sometimes, you know, we cook, we have dinner, we eat each other's dishes and we're like, oh, this is what we eat in my country. This is what we eat. So that it, it, it's interesting, honestly, very interesting. In terms of, I think, student life, I think it's like the same thing because it's uni everywhere, but well, just having different nationalities with regards to not just Africans, but like, you know, Europe, Americans and all of that, Germans and all of that, yeah, and Asians. So I think that's like where the difference comes in. Are there any things in particular that you miss from home, from Nigeria? The street food, yes. <laughs> I miss the street food so much. I miss, um, I live in Port Harcourt, which is like the, you know, South Nigeria, Southern Nigeria. So I miss the street food, bole and fish, which is like roasted plantain and fish. I miss suya. Basically, it's street food, the weather. <laughs> I miss the weather so much. Um, well, my parents, because, well, I have family here, my sis, my auntie and all, but I just want to love to see my parents again, you know, give them a hug or something. But we thank God for video calls and all of that. So we always catch up, you know, at the end of the week. So how did you first hear about uh, University of Derby? What was it that, that drew you to applying here? I was watching a YouTube video and the ad popped up. I haven't really heard about this. And I did went to the website, went through everything. And I think what stood out for me was how small, I won't really say small, but how close together the city is. Honestly, I went to London. I, I, I'm just coming back from London. <laughs> I was in London over the weekend. And it's so busy. So I wanted somewhere that was calm and somewhere that, you know, you can get around easily, somewhere that is also cool. And I think that was really what stood up stood out for me. I had done my own research and I actually went on YouTube and I didn't really see videos about Derby and I was like this is something I definitely have to do when I get here you know show people Derby because a lot of people would apply and they're like okay I want to see how this place looks I just had to manage what I saw on link on Wikipedia on Google and that was all I saw so I was just like what what do I know okay so definitely when I come here I have to show Derby through my own eyes so it can help people you know making a decision to also come here and relocate here and all of that Back onto the topic of vlogging, um, yeah. I wondered what, what sort of advice would you give to aspiring bloggers, uh, perhaps those who are students as well, what, what advice do you give to them? You definitely have to be true to yourself because a lot of people come back to your channel because of you, they are coming back because there's, a part, there's something that you give them that they don't get from other YouTubers, from other vloggers. If it's a smile, if it's your smile, if it's your accent, if it's the way you dress, the way you look, I think you should just start from where you are, use what you have and just stay true to yourself. We are all, go we're all going through life and a lot of us have similar experiences with people. So you definitely find an audience for you or people that you know resonate with your content 
And lastly, whatever you have to give is only you that can give it. So just start, okay? Just start. Forget about that voice. You can do it. And lastly, um, what are your your plans post graduation? What what's next after? What's you know? next? Um, let's see. I want to try and, you know, apply for some, okay, even before graduation, I want to also apply for some jobs here. And um, because, you know, we all, we have that two, two years post-study where you can, you know, pay for it and then remain in the country and stuff. I know there are like certain opportunities here. So for now, I would love to remain, you know, maybe get a job. So I'm trying to apply maybe internship or something like that. So I can remain for a while and, you know, get start working here and just get into the system and see what I can do. Or in terms of blogging, of course, taking you guys through it all. We have like a whole year for this program. So yes, I'll take you guys through it all along my journey. So that's that's what I have for now. Mm-hmm.